We got to figure out why don't nobody respect Ice Spice in this bitch. Because it's like, bro, we know why no one don't respect her, bro. Because it's like, we just look at her. No talent, all cheeks. No talent, all cheeks. Let's be real now. That's how we see Ice Spice. But let's see what the fuck Lou Ace start talking about, bro, on why why they don't respect her. Cause I gave my take on it. Y'all 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 just heard my take. So now we finna see what they take is. So let's get into it, man. Shout out Lou Ace for this shit, man. I don't think Ice Spice has a personality. I think Ice Spice is playing an image. I just can't get over the bar. He called me poopy like I need a diaper. I feel like Ice Spice lacks the capacity and the ability to make a good record. It reads more like a lack of effort than anything. I think that she need to leave Cardi alone. Ice Spice, especially after listening to this album, she shouldn't be thinking about, she shouldn't stay nothing to start with a seat. At this time last year, Ice Spice seemed like she was primed to take over the rap game and barrage the legends of female rap. After initially being written off as a novelty, she suddenly had co-signs from Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, and others. And with the power of TikTok and a motherfucking one catchy song. The power of TikTok and having a catchy song. You is a much, I am not feeling you. That shit could take you a long way, bro. Not saying those exact words, but you coming up with a hook that motherfucker gonna always like just say. A long fucking way, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's all these motherfuckers do. Just really, bro, don't even think about being lyrical no more. Don't don't think about being lyrical. Honestly, just think about sounding catchy and what, what what's going to make motherfuckers want to make a TikTok to it. If motherfuckers don't want to make a TikTok to your shit, bro, who gives a fuck if you ain't a mainstream rapper? That's how you get on by TikToks and shit. I ain't going to lie to you. You can make a good ass song and they just want that little tiny clip of that shit, bro. And that's going to change your fucking life. Then only a matter of months since she arrived on the scene, the self-proclaimed rap girl on the charts looked like she'd overcome the odds to become a superstar. It's gonna be like, oh, she a one-hit wonder, da da da, but it's like, now what? Two-hit wonder? Like the fuck? But these days, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> I love you, Ice Spice. <laughs> nah, bro, I ain't gonna capture you, Ice Spice, though. Nah, shorty, you got you you got to show more talent than them weak ass lyrics you be having, bro. Cause them lyrics be weak as hell, shorty. And it's like I can't keep on giving you a pass cause I think you cute. Like that can only get you so far. That can only get you so far. And look and look, Ice Spice. The only reason I think this way is um, because I didn't get to nail you. Once I nail you, it's over with. Let me let me see. never mind. Cut cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Things aren't looking so good with her monthly listeners dropping and the public growing tired of not just her repetitive formula But also her behavior. It seems like ice's reign as the rap girl on the pop charts might be near First of all, I never get tired of seeing ice spice do her little body moves and shit Hey, ice spice do your shit do your shit shorty. Hey, 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 yeah, I never get tired of that shit, bro what the fuck is you talking about, bro? As long as I got eyes Ice Spice ain't gonna never go out of style. What the fuck are you talking about? Hearing its end. In fact, it might have already happened. It's your boy Luesta, and today we're about to dive into how Ice Spice went from having the hip hop audience in the palm of her hands to having damn near the entire industry wanting nothing to do with her. At the moment, Ice Spice's team is likely in panic mode. Just two years on from signing a deal with 10K Projects and Capital, the rapper from the Bronx who became a superstar with her song Munch, the Nicki Minaj aided Princess Diana, a placement on the Barbie soundtrack, and a whole lot of twerking, Ooh. finally released her debut album titled Y2K. Even though fans thought it would be a terrible idea for her to put a literal trash can on the album cover, which may have foreshadowed their feedback, why the fuck I feel like I watched this same video, Luaster? You see, you reusing your videos now, Luaster. She remained optimistic about what was to come before its release. I feel everything. <laughs> I'm feeling everything about it. Yeah. Yeah. All at one time. All at once. So, what does this album say about you? It's really just all in there for mm. you to like listen and see. You know. I never listened to an Ice Spice song. Well, I never went on one way to listen to an Ice Spice song. Like, if I had to listen to an Ice Spice song, I ain't gonna lie, I checked it out because it was low-key for content. 
on gang. And if, if I do check her out after that, then I might just be like, shit, just see her little ice spice looking. But I don't never know what the fuck she be talking about on her songs, bro. I just be looking at what the fuck she be doing. Like, I ain't gonna cap to you. Ice Spice, listening to Ice Spice without a music video is crazy to me, bro. Like, if you listen to Ice Spice without a music video, that shit is diabolical. Like, when she did that little visual shit with all them, I'm like, man, I don't want to hear your ass rap and see a fucking animatronic version of you shake your ass, shorty. If it ain't you shaking your ass, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to, like, spoil nothing, but I'm feeling very rich, very fab, mm. very, like, myself. Now, that may have seemed like a vague description of the record, but when the project dropped, it became clear that she wasn't underselling it, and that this was truly the full extent of what she had to offer. And as it turned out, the record's release couldn't have came at a worse time. Since June of 2023, Ice Spice had lost a whopping 25 million listeners on the Spotify platform. Shit, everybody losing followers and views right now. Shit, she ain't the first month. Shit, everybody views going down right now. You know how that shit be, bro. The internet be the internet. Shit, it is what it is. It it ain't what it ain't. Form. So it wasn't the dream rollout that her management likely planned for. But even then, they would never have imagined how badly Y2K flopped when it dropped on July 20th. Debuting at number 18 on the charts, the record sold just 28k in its first week. And right away, the same public who elevated her to stardom were ready to clown her. 20k with the machine backing you up is crazy. All that ass shaking and only sold 20k? Initially, I, I mean... Think about it, though. That's actually pretty good, bro. $28,000 for shaking her ass, because we ain't trying to hear that shit. She really she really getting paid because she got that cheek, the cheeks. And she cute. And she cute. And I ain't the type of person to just be like, oh, yeah, like, certain women actually good at rapping. I can name some female rappers like Glorella. She good at rapping. Uh... You know, sexy red, she 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 be rapping. Okay, you know. I tried to play it off as though it weren't a cause for concern. Comparing the sales to that of her debut EP to make it look like there was some form of progression. My last album did 15k, so thank you to everyone who supported then and thank you to all the new supporters. These numbers are cool and all, but bitch, you should have seen that Boston crowd last night. Now, make no mistake. This was far from good, for her image at least. A year after being one of the hottest things in the game, she pulled in similar returns to JT of the City Girls' debut album. And that's crazy considering everyone pretty much already decided she had fallen off a long time ago. Dropped on the same weekend, JT's City Cinderella sold 26k, which was just 2,000 less than Ice Spice. And that was without the prestige features from- Man, these women is diabolical, cause I ain't gonna cap to you. They ass be getting gassed up a little bit too much because they understand. They got to understand. Like, women women want to believe all that bullshit they want. But even women listen to nigga music more than they listen to female music. Like, y'all could believe whatever the fuck y'all want to believe. Yeah, them, them, them females get turned up, shake ass to that. But bitches don't want to listen to that retarded ass shit all day. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, that's what these bitches think. I'm telling you, I seen bitches, I met more bitches that just want to listen to, like, my type of music than listen to some motherfucking Ice Spice or Mulatto or, like, some shit. Like, like I don't never, I really haven't never really met no females that actually even listen to these hoes for real. If I'm really being honest with you, unless it's, maybe I'm just in Chicago, though. You feel me? These hoes different out here from artists like Travis Scott, Gunna, and the UK rap sensation Sandro C, who will also play a small role in Ice's downward spiral that I'll detail in the latter half of this video. The album's subpar performance wasn't just something her haters reveled in. Her fans were very disappointed in what they heard as well, with users commenting, the poo lines need to go. I loved her last album and her other songs, but this album was not good at all. She mentions shit every other song and put the title of her album on a trash can. Does she even like her own music? Critics didn't buy it either. 
viewing it as just a collection of tracks that didn't differ from what we had already come to expect from her output. And now that we're here, it feels like such a nothing burger. The hooks are basic, the features are forgettable, the instrumentals I would say are pretty typical for her at this point. The biggest ban- A fucking nothing burger. On oh, game. A good, a, a good way to describe Ice Spice. A nothing burger. That's very, very filling. On oh, game. Hangers on this thing have been out for months now, and the entire track list is a very trim 10 songs that span only just a mere 23 minutes. She's obviously not trying to make a splash with this thing in terms of uh, giving fans a lot of material to go off of, and comparatively, the deluxe version of her recent Like EP is longer. Though I have no doubt on some level we are going to see a deluxe version of this because, you know, marketing. But yeah, for the most part, Y2K just kind of feels like an album in name and in name only. At the minute, Ice Spice's music career is now at an all-time low, with hip-hop basically treating her as though she is already irrelevant. But this isn't a sudden drop off of a cliff. Instead, it's a byproduct of her refusing to give any more effort and assuming that the fame that she got was birthright rather than luck and timing. That's because her album Y2K came off the backing of recent singles like Think You The Shit underperforming. Think you the shit, bitch? You're not even the fuck. Nah, I be going hard. Although it amassed nearly 30 million views on YouTube, the problem was just that it was the same old, same old. And it generally left people confused about the direction she was heading in. I thought this was a joke when I first heard the snippet. Um, I thought it was a meme song. It had the SpongeBob filter on it or whatever it was. I thought it was a joke. I didn't know she had plans on actually releasing this. Um, I'm not excited, you know? Nah, when she did drop that shit, I'm mean, like, this shit is diabolical. Talking about farting. Bitch. You got that big ass booty and you talking about farting. Like, come on, man. We don't want to hear about that shit. All oh, that big ass booty and you trying to get us thinking about farting. Now we, we damn near not even trying to see your big ass booty now because you talking about farting and shit. We like, man, now what if she pooed it? Now what Ice Spice? What if you out here? Now what if you out here pooping Ice Spice? That that you over here talking about all these farts and shit. Now niggas get to think it is you pooping? Is you pooping Ice Spice? That's what that 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 motherfucker's over. Now, now I'm looking at you different. Cause you talking about so much pooping. Is you pooping? Is you pooping, shorty? And I feel like we need to have an honest conversation. Obviously, the song wasn't particularly good, nor did it push forward the sound that she introduced with Munch and Deli. Initially though, the argument was that she could get away with it because no one really saw her as a legitimate rapper to begin with. This song is. It is. This song is. And so, um, the situation is basically how memeable the song is going to be, you know? If the song is ass but it's still funny or fun, then it's alright. It's cool. You know what I mean? Cause most people ain't taking Ice Spice that seriously as an artist. She made some couple. She made a couple good records. You know what I'm saying? She's she's allowed some ass music in the in the whole little uh you know what I'm saying ecosystem of her discography. She's allowed some ass music. You feel me? Unfortunately for Ice, it's now clear as day that her claims on tracks like In Ha Mood about racking up 1 million views in a day were starting to become far from accurate. It's not as if Ice Spice is clueless about how the game works. Because when she first emerged, she revealed that her father had schooled her on it while she was growing up. And your dad used to bar it up back in the day. He was an underground rapper. Yeah. Do we know was. who he was? He, would I know him? I don't know if you would know him. He used to be with, um, he used to be with like DJ Doo-Wop. Yeah, of course. And like, yeah, like on some underground, you know how it goes. Yeah. Real early. I don't know who the fuck DJ Doo-Wop is, bro. Lots of motherfuckers get mad when I say I don't know people. But if I don't know the motherfucker, I don't know the motherfucker. It's like, it's like really like gang. I don't give a fuck. Y'all be saying I don't be knowing people and they y'all be like, oh, them niggas is legends. Gang, do they know who the fuck I am? No. So why the fuck do I gotta know who the fuck they is? Uh, maybe no one don't give a fuck that I don't know who this person is. But I, I'm just going off the last comments of other times when I say I don't know a nigga and niggas get mad at me. Like, bro, do they know who the fuck I am? If they don't know who the fuck I am, I don't, I don't gotta know who the fuck they is, bro. Like, in the Bronx. Yeah. You feel me? 90s? 
Early 2000s. Early 2000s. Real Got early. It. And so is that how seeing him, was that you're kind of like, ooh, yeah. this is something I want to do. I'm not going to lie because like, like in the crib or on the way to school and everything, he would be on some, let me hear something, let me hear something. And always trying to like film me, like push me to do something. Yeah. <laughs> let me hear that ass shit. If you was rapping like, man, I ain't going to cap to you, Ice Spice. I know you was fucking trash back in the day. Fucking diabolical. Because if you this ass right now, Imagine how ass you was when you was a kid. Like, come on, like, you said you grew up around this shit. Your dad was an underground rapper for you to be doing this ass ass shit. I wouldn't be expecting you to be a motherfucking J. Cole of this shit. Not no motherfucking fart. Fuck is you going on, bro? Look at her ass. She look like she farted, okay? It looks like her ass just farted, bro. <laughs> her ass pooted, okay? And or like if I would tell him about girls that I didn't really put in school, he would be like, write a rap about them. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to him. But even with that kind of background in a culture where you always need to be evolving, she was content to just coast by on the success of Munch for a while. Because as long as people were still on board with it and talking about her, there seemed to be no cause for concern. Particularly when people who you'd never assume would be part of her quote unquote munchkins were rocking with her. I spice is here, the munch girl. Yeah, it's the munch girl. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? That nigga's a munch. Nigga's a eater, he eat it for lunch. Folks ass is, is, is fruity. For shit show, bro. Like, I ain't gonna cap to you. Motherfuckers are most definitely ain't feeling a lot like motherfuckers. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? That bitch is a munch. Woo, woo. Like, like, yeah, I ain't gonna capture you. I ain't gonna capture you. Niggas that catch they self saying, catch they self saying sexy red. I can't remember the lyric, but when the shit, the shit just come up in your head. Just come in your head. You feel me? So it's like shit like that, but you coming in saying that shit just just overly, overly sassy. Like you added a whole bunch of sass to that shit, bro. Like, yeah, he he a fruit in the basket for sure. You said that a little too spicy. <laughs> I like that song. I, I, we know. I, and I like her. But ultimately... You see, Brody even said it. Brody even said it. He's a fruit in the basket with that one. It was a move that a lot of people immediately thought was a bad decision. I, I kind of feel like Ice Spice is being set up to fail. Um, you know, I, I don't know how that new project is shaping up right now because obviously there is going to be an album at some point. Like the mustache and the glasses, gang, with the little the thing, bro. Who the fuck is this nigga? For some reason, I feel like he's a very important nigga on YouTube. I don't know why, cause, but it seems like these type of niggas, y'all be letting these niggas have lots of power on YouTube. So I'm going to not say my mind no motherfucking Dr. Doofenshmirt looking ass motherfucker right here. Like, obviously, somebody is, is you know, pushing for her to make a project. Dr. Doofenshmirt with an Adolf Hitler mustache, bro. This shit diabolical with Harry Potter glasses. Oh shit! Whoa, gang, you got a lot going on. That ain't gonna cap to you, Brody. But what the fuck is you finna talk about, gang? You see, if I had a look like that going on, people would stop and stop and watch me too. Doctor Doofenshmirtz with an Adolf Hitler mustache with Harry Potter glasses. Woo! This shit crazy. And I know he, I know he got power on YouTube for sure. But I feel like just kind of parading her around in multiple places is to, to just perform like the one song and maybe another track that people are kind of clowning on the internet is is like not is is not um you know the the best way to kind of like secure the longevity of her career that said the music was only ever one part of the equation for ice and it was something she should be aware of However, oh, the ever one part of the equation for Ice, and it was something she seemed to be aware of. However, the fact that she chose to pursue that image-focused approach ended up limiting the attention her rhymes received. Straight away, people seemed to be thirsting after her and her massive butt. 
However, by leading with that hypersexualized image from the start of her career, it meant that's all that a lot of people wanted from her. And sometimes, it was all she was willing to give. For example, when she was recently asked to freestyle by Kai Sinat on stream in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers, she opted to twerk instead of showing off her talent sympathy. Man, I don't want to hear that rapping shit. Twerk, twerk, twerk. I want to see you twerk. Potentially gaining some new fans. At other times, the people she's collaborated with have made it obvious that they're more interested in her physical assets than in her actual music. So if you just shoot me your number through. Drewski always gonna keep it a hundred. He always gonna keep it a hundred. I ain't gonna lie to you. I fucks with Drewski. He gonna keep it a hundred, but sometimes he try to try to overdo it because he got a little bit too much clout. And that's why I'm like, get your goof ass on, shorty. Cool out with that shit. But you can keep it real with me. But you ain't, you, you ain't finna do what you be doing, bro. You and your security team gonna get fucked up. Like, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Take this nigga out. Y'all ain't gonna bitch me, though. Y'all ain't gonna bitch me, though. That's, that's, that's all that matter, bro. I can get kicked out this bitch. But had, had Drewski be doing them other niggas, I would not tolerate that shit, bro. I'm going to hit him with that clean two-piece so fast, bro. And they going to hit me with the fastest lawsuit I ever seen. They ain't going to cap to you. DM. I got you. I'm going to drop a song tonight on SoundCloud. Hey, we'll talk. All right. Oh, no. Okay. Don't give a fuck about that song. Bitch, DM me. Because she was constantly objectified and reduced to just her body, People had been anticipating her fall off for a long time. Seven months ago, a Reddit user started a debate where he asked how long it would take for Ice Spice to fall off, claiming that all she had to offer was ass and that the music would eventually speak for itself. And when someone tried to argue that the entire industry was backing her up so she'll be alright, she was then compared to Sweetie, who, despite having over 13 million Instagram followers and even a McDonald's meal dedicated to her, couldn't sell more than 2k copies of her album first week. Sweetie is a rapper? No, 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 for real. Like, like, not even trying to be funny. Sweetie is a rapper? I thought this, this bitch just curve old baby mama. This shit crazy, bro. What the fuck? That's what Tusi talking about. Sweet. It seems that the moment where her music became the main focus never quite arrived. Instead, the fascination... And I'm saying, that's what Tusi talking about. Like, I didn't know that shit was going on already. What the fuck? But let Tusi tell y'all that shit. Nah, 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 nah. He, he said it first. Fuck y'all. With both her tracks and her twerking has gradually faded. Being known for your aesthetic over your artistry is always a hard thing to navigate in itself. But with Ice Spice, that's really only been half of the battle. Because over the past year, she's had a whole lot of bad press, which has taken her from someone you root for to an entitled artist who's maybe bought into her own hype a little too hard. Ever since she emerged, Ice Spice had to fend off rumors that she was an industry plant. And whether or not she is, what didn't help was when her producer Riot was accused of essentially bribing fans into buying her music to give it an inorganic boost up the charts. Accused is actually the wrong word. It would be easier to say that he got caught red-handed and then tried to cover his tracks. This was brought to light from a user on X who showed this tweet that dates back to April of 2023, where Riot said, which big Munchkin account or Barb account can I trust to distribute funds for y'all to buy Princess Diana? If you're acquainted with hip hop culture, you know that there's nothing fans like less than inauthenticity. And when it was revealed that the same producer who'd been with her from the start of her career was the son of Hot 97's DJ Enough, it really didn't and help. Then there was another surefire way to create negative controversy in hip hop, create a satanic panic. After she linked up with Taylor Swift for the remix of Tay Tay's track Karma, it naturally gave her career a boost. And soon they were hanging out together at events such as the Super Bowl. But it was at that event that she truly ended up on a global radar for all the wrong reasons. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but is that an upside down cross, bro? It, it breaks my heart because I love I Spice. Like, I actually enjoy her music. Like, as you guys see here, they're at the game right now. They keep showing her on, and I swear that's an upside-down cross. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's an upside-down cross. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who gives a fuck, gang? Who, who really gives a fuck, gang? 
That's for another video though. Because of the backlash, this elevated and diminished her career all in one. Instantly, her behavior was under a microscope. And soon, there was about to be plenty of friction that would leave people thinking that she was fundamentally not a good person. Or, at the very least, that fame had corrupted her. Around a year into her career, the story started coming out thick and fast. Like stuffing a hairstylist who happily aired her out on Instagram when she said, I was supposed to do Ice Spice's tour and they sent me a wig order. And then they called me again to add more, and then it was time to pay? They didn't have the budget. You really disappointed me when you asked for those tour units for free. 20k in wigs for no promo at that. It wasn't just hairstylists she had drama with. When she found herself beefing with her former best friend Baby Stormy, things escalated pretty quickly. Stormy revealed text messages where Ice was allegedly throwing shade at Nicki Minaj, despite Nicki having helped her land the Barbie collab feature. She's kind of like my mom, ungrateful and delusional. I cut her off. This wouldn't be the only. That's how all females be, bro. If you believe females be like, oh, I cut her off, I don't fuck with her, this down and play, bro, your ass is a goofy. All, every female be doing that shit, bro. Don't believe that bullshit, bro. Take that shit with a grain of salt, bro. But Nicki Minaj probably did that shit with women. Women did that shit with Nicki Minaj, bro. They gonna get back cool with each other. Like, that's female shit to even, like, bro. That's females to even entertain that shit, to be honest with you, gang. Because a real nigga know, bro. Y'all ass gonna be cool. And even if y'all don't be cool, bro. Like, y'all doing all this extra shit. No one gives a fuck, gang. This shit all shit. It's, I'm, I give a fuck because it's money. It's money in my pocket, bro. I'm reacting to this shit, bro. But, shit only exchange she would have like this, as Ice seemed to be throwing shade at other artists on various tracks. Recently, there was her alleged shots at Cardi B on BB Belt, where she referenced not only her plastic surgery, but hinted towards Offset sliding into her DMs too, spitting. Think she pretty, but changing her face. Falling behind like, bitch, pick up your pace. It was funny till I took her place. Her man calling, but I'd be like, who's this? In response, Cardi B told the world that she would get her lick back on her upcoming album. Then, there were her issues with Lotto, the person- You see, all this, all this, all this, but niggas be doing this bitch made ass tendency shit too. I ain't gonna lie to you. All this shit to get views and marketing, bro. And all that shit, that's what it is, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. I don't gotta do all this shit for more. I, I promise you, bro, on everything I love, on my dead grandma grave, bro. I could get up, gang. Look at me. Bro, I got a name right now already. If I really want to start some shit, gang, I could really boost my career up, bro. I just don't want to do that shit. And I got connections, too. I ain't trying to dick eat nobody. I ain't trying to start my career up the wrong way. None of that pussy-ass shit, bro. Y'all gonna, gonna see me coming this bitch as a real nigga. I ain't coming in with all this fancy-ass equipment either, bro. I'm high as hell making videos. Doing this shit, bro, on on the 720p screen, bro. Y'all fucks with it. I love it, bro. Fuck y'all talking about. Person who the song Thank You the Shit is That's apparently about. Apparently, Ice Spice felt like she was shading her in a snippet. So Ice went on the attack. I'm in the back of your weak ass snippet. Like that's how right. I was oh, literally like So hello. I was like, wait a second, that's me? So I'm like, okay, <laughs> since we're talking about me, let's talk about me. And I dropped that. Bitch, what? She was talking about uh, Ice Spice was playing this out the back, like on the TV, like I guess a song or whatever. <clears throat> what, what, what if she fucks with your music? Well, what if you just, you know, since you she lives in a female artist, you just a big time female artist that will most likely pop up if you listen to female artists. Maybe that's why you're in the background. Shit. You know, I recorded something, recording a video and shit. Got the video playing. I don't know what the fuck in the screen in the back, bro. Whatever the fuck back there is back there, bro. And now, if I'm talking about some shit, and like, oh, they try, it, it sound like it could relate to the shit behind the screen, bro. That's that, that's just a fucking coincidence. I mean, some people might go out the way to do that shit, but I wouldn't do all that subliminal shit. Right then and there, bitch, you on the screen for a reason. That's how we're going to have to start the video off. That, 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 that's what motherfuckers have to say. That it was really just a snippet, but... 
just be, you know what I'm saying, be bold. So I was like, oh, we're being bold today. She then doubled down on the track Gimme a Light from Y2K, where she referred to Lotto as a failure. Bitches be losing the plot. And that's how I... Hey, 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 Ice Spice. I fucks with you and all. I fucks with you and but, but no Lotto, no Lotto slander will be tolerated in this motherfucker. No. You finna smell my hot ass breath now. No Lotto motherfucking slander will be tolerated. Fuck is you talking about? Now what? Now, that's why I'm saying, bro. Lot on my baby. When I get that Birkin bag money, you know it's going to you, shorty. I got to the top. And no, I don't got any ops. Like, why would I be for the flop? But with sales of 29,000 and 28,000 each for their last albums, there really is no telling who's falling off harder. Another drama that majorly impacted the public perception of Ice Spice was her manufactured relationship with Central C, who featured her on the track Did It First. If you're not familiar, the track is all about cheating, and they took it to another level by pretending to be a couple online before the truth was revealed. Wait, pass that. Don't pass that. Just that UK. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that Kelly Hush though, straight from the B. Don't miss me down the steps. However, one person who wasn't made aware of what they were doing was influencer and Central C's ex, Madeline Argy. In the aftermath, she was left so heartbroken by it that she didn't eat for five days. My ex-boyfriend, um, kind of publicly violated me through the means of using me as a pawn in his PR stunt and also not informing me of his PR stunt which was to essentially make it look like he's sleeping with another girl. To make matters worse, the whole thing backfired and the audience those antics were intended for rejected them and sided with his ex instead. Finally, we have the cherry on top and that is the expose led by her former friend Cleo. This shit too much shit going on bro. Too much bullshit. Oh, Louisa, how you keep up with all this fucking drama? Trappa. Recently, fellow NY rapper Cleo went on tour with Ice Spice, and the whole thing was a disaster from the get go. Alongside claiming that Ice Spice is actually dating her producer Riot, she spoke about how she had to pay for her own meals on tour as well as not getting paid at all. From there, she suggested that ever since Ice got famous, there is something demonic going on. Bro, that girl. She needs to be saved. Like, I don't know if she was always like that, if it's Hollywood, but Hollywood never changed me. But Nikki was very, very correct when she said, ain't no friends in the game. But me thinking like, oh, like, I was cool with Ice, like, before all of this, da 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 I didn't think, like, she was going to be a weirdo over time. Once on tour, she discovered a bag she had left in Ice Spice's dressing room was placed outside. She later discovered that $700 had been spent on her credit card. After she complained about it, Ice became hostile towards her. I learned that this situation where I said something about my bags was the reason why I got mistreated the entire tour after that. And I had no idea that she was so tight at me for, for saying something. Because she's the type of person who doesn't like to be Set, she doesn't want anything set right. to her. She feels right. too big. She feels too highly. Oh, right. her, she's on her, her high horse. Nobody can say nothing to her. Oh, but God. that's the type of person you. I wouldn't want as a friend. Like, I don't want a friend that's that I can't saying, tell bro. about themselves. Like, I can't tell you about right. yourself because you're famous. Like, that's sick. Right. Straight away, people rinsed ice for it, and it seemed like people were really sick of all of her antics. Every story about Ice Spice is terrible. I mean, I ain't really sick of the bitch because I don't give a fuck about the shit. Like, I don't be hearing about this shit. The only time I hear about Ice Spice is when I want to hear about Ice Spice. And when I, when, when, when I basically want to hear about Ice Spice, that means I want to hear about all news. Like, when I don't want to hear no news shit, but this shit is blocked out. I don't want to see none of this shit. And when I'm doing it, bro, yeah, on game, but I don't give a fuck. When I'm away from social media, bro, I'm not worried about that shit, boy. I don't give a fuck. Hey, to be honest, lots of people don't believe me. Lots of people wouldn't believe me, bro. I don't give a fuck about these rappers, bro. I had to force myself to even do content about these rappers, bro. Really, I want to do shit about the about about motherfucking nature and shit, gang. Nature and anime, folks. Niggas don't like that shit, bro. 
So I had to start talking about these lame ass rappers with this drama shit. But shit, I ain't gonna cap this show. This low key got a little bit interesting and shit. But it's like, <sighs> I, I don't feel right doing this drama shit, bro. But shit, it is what it is. Whatever pay the bills, right? I don't really give a fuck because I'm reacting to this shit. You're not that talented to be this mean. She's got the performing presence of a staple. Facts. And she doesn't have a strong fan base to fall back on. Ice did try and fight her corner afterwards, but it seems like no one really wants to hear it. Crashing out is sad, you guys. Like, the scary part of fame, honestly, is the moment that somebody feels like they can no longer use your platform or like they're not getting exactly what they want out of a situation the way that they want it you know what i mean it's like that's when they decide to crash out every single time you got less than ten thousand listeners and i'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled like she also got some shots in there including calling her out for eating too much how we was at an italian restaurant and you ate so much fucking food you fucking vacuum that the server was like where did the food go even then Maybe she was hungry. Can 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 uh, can she not be hungry? What the fuck? Like, bro, what the fuck you mean, bro? Can she not be hungry? Fuck is wrong with you? She could eat now. I'd be mad if a bitch not eating the food. Like, bitch, like, I'm going out to eat, bitch. You ain't eating no food, bro. I came to this motherfucker. Like, bitch, she could. You going out to eat? Ice Spice must not have been around no real niggas. No real niggas. That that that's all. That that's the thing. Is it? I'm gonna say niggas being around black women, real black women, bro. That shit normal. Black women can eat, bro. Now they ain't trying to do all that shit for the most part. How hey, y'all be trying to play that shit? They gonna eat. They gonna have grease all on their face. Get get sour cream in their wig. They don't get no fuck. Cleo still had the upper hand, hitting her with the Uno reverse card. Imagine being called. And guess what? With all that said, I still love it. I don't like all that fake. Ass. I ain't gonna capture you, man. All that fake ass trying to be a super uptight, outstanding female, bro. I don't. I don't fall for that cap. I know you damn and more fucked up than the ones that's like I. That's that's showing that shit like that, bro. You more fucked up than no motherfuckers on gang. I'd rather be with the woman that, that that's eating a whole bunch. As long as she not big, I ain't, I ain't trying to be with no big ass woman. What the fuck? I ain't finna sit here and cap to you. That shit unhealthy as hell, gang. What the fuck? I ain't finna sit here and lie. I ain't, I, I ain't never lie to nobody. I don't ever lie to my mama, gang. The fuck is you talking about? So it's like, now, nah, let's get that out the way. If she eating and she still got her way together, fuck, she eating. Fuck, that's how that's what her body need, bro. She got her weight together. Now she big as hell and shit, bro. Cool out. Fuck are you doing? On okay. game. That's what it is. Cause you, you being big is hurting your health. Fuck are you talking about? Anybody got a problem with it, bro? Fuck. I'm trying to help you get to get your life together, gang. Fuck are you talking about? You gonna have a heart attack in this bitch for high cholesterol and shit. And that, 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 oh. And I'm I'm gonna be like shit. I told they ass, but I'm wrong. I'm wrong for telling motherfuckers stop eating all that shit when you big as hell. Big by someone that was just big. I'm going to bed, bro. Is Empik got y'all gassed and fat phobic now? Bet. Left without any support from anyone other than her diet. Fat phobic? Fat phobic, bro. I know people motherfucking lost they, they mobility, everything, bro. 600 pound life gang for being big, gang. What the fuck? Certain phobias is good. Certain phobias is good. Like you feel me? Like you you feel me? It's 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 like the fear of dead people or some shit. It's fear is a lot of shit, bro. And a fear of being big should be one of those fears. I'm not gonna lie to you, cause why do you want to be big, gang? Cause it's like, gang, if if the world end right now, bro, you is not gonna be capable of doing what you gotta do to survive to get away. If niggas trying to chase you this, that, and third, bro, you gotta you you want to be able to do it. And then the more older you get, you don't want to have all that unhealthy ass weight on your body on game because it's gonna be harder for your body to move already. And now you got a whole bunch of extra baggage and shit. You making your life harder, gang, on game.
iHeart fans. iSpice is now facing a world where she is no longer just the cute girl that everyone was happy to let have her 15 minutes of fame. Instead, her continued presence in the culture has meant that she's now a punchline, subject to endless parody. She thinks she's so awesome. She sticks like a possum. Her man on my DM so fast, poopy, poopy out my ass. I'm a freak in a bop, bop. I take your man just a boom in the pop, pop. My bitch is like dookie, dookie. It just won't stop. Although things look dark right now, this isn't necessarily a complete death sentence for Ice Spice. But any hope for her being respected by the culture seems to be long gone. Even after her album flopped, academics felt like it was just a symptom of where the end. A bitch could get her respect back easily, bro. People lose respect and get respect all the time in this industry. Industries at, and if anything, it was mismanagement that led this to happen. It's crazy because we're getting into this time where the album is becoming less and less valued. Yet, in all of these contracts these artists are signing, it doesn't say drop two singles and then we give you more money. It says when you drop the album, we need the album. And it's kind of it's kind of crazy because they're still holding these artists who I don't think are album artists to an album requirement. I think that this doesn't help Ice Spice. Her selling 20K first week, whether it was an EP or whatever, it breaks the illusion of how hot you think. When it comes to Ice, the draw hey, is social guy. media posts and catchy hits. Hey, and rarely is it ever down. a body of work. You go on her Instagram, let's say her last post, you look, you look at the likes, you look at the numbers, the engagement, you know, 1.1 million likes. You look at these numbers and they look so fucking insane that you're like, damn, these artists are so lit. And that's why I said dropping an album doesn't help someone like her. Find a new gimmick for a new song. You know, every time she drops a song, there's like almost a new gimmick. When, when she was going at Lotto, you're not even a shit. You're not even a fart. That was that gimmick. Rather than being a standout artist who could be the next Nicki or Cardi, she's seen as just one of an array of female rappers whose entire shtick has always been limited and requires industry trickery to properly maintain. But once you start flopping, there's nowhere to hide anymore. The Ice Spices, the JTs, the Sexy Reds, I don't think, I think it's better off when they just give us singles because they give us the best of what would be on album. Rather than, these artists, they're not giving us substance, they're just giving us fillers for an album. So you might as well just have them give you the single because the single is going to be the hottest ones out of the bunch. Artists like these, I hope they just abolish this, this you know, feeling like they have to give an album or at least the label doesn't rewrite these deals because when Ice Spice sells 20K, it it breaks the brainwashing of the fan that she's so hot. Because what labels are really good at doing is creating this is the hot thing and if you're not tuned in, it's FOMO. Fantano felt the same, believing that she'll pivot even further away from music to the point that it will just be one of those things she does, along with getting the bag from brand deals and other social media content. Overall, I kind of feel like this this the same nigga with the with, with the with the mustache and the motherfucking record is proof of how much for Ice Spice and her brand, an album really truly does not matter. And that's kind of the thing. I don't want to say that this record is bad or is underwhelming because I feel like Ice Spice lacks the capacity and the ability to make a good record. Uh, really, to me on the surface, it reads more like a lack of effort than anything. Something she had to ceremoniously go through the motions of in order to get back to focusing on what actually brings her success and attention. And and that would be singles, that would be performances, that would be viral social media moments and crossovers, traditional media blitzes as well, and that's pretty much it. Basically, her posts are going platinum, even when her records aren't. Better known as something closer to an influencer than an actual hip-hop artist, it seems like the path left for Ice Spice is to steer into her online clout, rather than thinking she's going to be an icon in the rap game. After all, she's just one of many rappers who blew up on TikTok. And if you want to learn how much of a curse that can be, you can click one of the two videos on the screen. Quack, quack, quack. Fuck are you talking about, man? Ice Spice down there, she gonna down there be good, bro. On gang, she gonna figure it out. She young. She got, she got the industry still. Make that shit happen, shorty. I got faith in you. When I get that Birkin bag money, you get a one too, Ice Spice, on game. I don't care if you fall off. As long as you looking the same, I got you, shorty. You ain't gonna...